Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing new makeup together, something new which is I believe limited edition from Dior so I'm very excited to play with it. I could not wait to do this video because you know how much I love Dior makeup. I'm just like obsessed and it's as well one of the very few brands which I can use which doesn't make my eyes look like a raccoon. <laughs> Most brands give my eyelids allergies. Dior is one of the perfection ones which doesn't do it. So I'm very happy. As you can maybe see, I got one light here, one light here. My camera is back on. I'm so excited. So welcome back to my channel. Before we get to, um, to the point, <laughs> I just want to remind you, subscribe. We always talk about it. Just click the button. Every Friday we see each other here. It's so much fun. We're going to get ready together. Uh, do I have spoolie here? I'll probably do somewhere. Anyway, I have my brushes. I have the other makeup here, which I usually use. I don't know. I just like threw everything there. I don't even know what I put there. But, but the main star of this video is in this bag. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So I got two things. One thing is like whatever. I mean, I'm happy to, I got it. <laughs> but it's not like new. And it's the Dior Concealer, Flush Perfector Concealer Backstage. This is number two. <clears throat> I kind of enjoy the packaging. It's super cute. I think this is like great for traveling. So I cannot wait to try this because I ran out of my Armani. So I think this is something I may enjoy. Anyway, this is the famous palette. It's called the... Yeah, it is an <laughs> edition limite, <laughs> limited edition. It's 523 Beige Couture. They are my dear friends. I, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> Anyway, I talked to some of you about different palette. I didn't buy it. I almost bought it, but then I stopped myself and I was like, let me wait a little bit longer. And I think this is it, guys. I think this is it. I mean, it's not exactly, but it's very similar. I think the tones are so, so, so pretty. This is what I like. Um, I mean, these two colors, the top ones, they're a little bit metallic. I don't usually like as much metallic, but these two are supposed to be matte and this one has some kind of shimmer to it as well, the pink one. But let's test it. Let's test it. Let's play. Let's do this. So first, my dear friends, we are going to do eyebrows. So let's brush. I'm going to do the eyebrows first and then we get to the main point, yeah? I washed all my brushes today. Hopefully they're not still wet. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to apply my favorite primer on my eyelids. Anyway, guys, today is Monday, just so you know. It's a very, very beautiful day outside. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love Miami. I just love the city. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer under my uh, eyebrows, not lashes, eyebrows. This is number five from Armani. And I'm using Refer Brush number 28. I just always like to have this part of my eyebrows like highlighted, you know. And as well, like define the shape of the eyebrows. So, guys, I think what I'm going to do once I open it, then I'm going to take the small brushes out. So, I'm going to work with these three, of course, just to see how this works, right? And I'm going to start with this tone, guys. I'm so curious. It's very light. I 
so this is now I'm going a little bit deeper <laughs> with the brush this is definitely beautiful matte mocha tone oh my god yes guys this is the palette I might get one more <laughs> if I don't get allergies <laughs> But it shouldn't be, it should not be, my dear friends. Do you see how beautiful is this color? I'm going to apply the same on the other side. So I just like to always use this kind of tone. You know, you see me doing my videos. Like on the inner of the, my eye because they sit deep, right? And I like to show a little bit of the color up. But like this is the base here. Like, I have the bone right here, my dear friends. You see? Can you see it? That's the bone. So, I keep it on the bone. The brush. Sliding right there in the bone. And then I like to go a little bit to the cat eye. Just a little bit. Also for this, I like to do my eyebrows a little bit more straight, as you see. Guys, this is such a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. I am so, so impressed. How pretty is this? I will just watch this after <laughs> this is done. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I love this. MAC brush for the darker brown. As well matte. And just gently open up the eye this is such a gorgeous chocolate color but not like milk chocolate it's more like um, dark chocolate color it has more cool tone so it makes <gasps> wow guys I'm buying one more of these guys this is so pretty so let me take the pink tone which has the sign Dior and I'm just going to a little bit put it here just a little bit I put more than I want it it's very pigmented the shimmer part so be careful with that my dear friends okay I'm not much a fan of shimmers so I think I will skip the three colors. Because they are quite, quite, quite shimmery. Anyway. The concealer, I haven't tried this yet. What color is it one more time? Too neutral. Do you remember that funny brush I bought? <laughs> I will use it, but I first use my um, hourglass brush just to, you know, be gentle with the product around and to see how the eye area is going to react to it. I also like to go like up with the concealer to give my eye a little lift but I will as well change that in a minute guys when people ask me why you have so many brushes I don't think I have that many brushes honestly <laughs> I just don't but as you see if I apply too much of product let's say I think I apply too much of concealer right now I used another clean brush to remove the extra product I know you can like use your hands, right, and stuff like that, but I also have some redness here, so I'm just going to use the brushes with the leftover concealer and cover up the, a little bit of the pigmentation on the cheek. I like to leave my nose with a little bit of the freckles I have. I don't have too many freckles or sunspots, whatever you call it. But whatever is there, I like to leave it a little bit exposed. 
this is a very covering concealer <laughs> so you can go you can go very far with very little now I'm going back to this tone with fluffy brush I will look up and put it under the eye I just notice how much this opens up the eye and I like to have it a little messy like not like down like raccoon of course not I have a, like a little um, scar here so when it gets to the scar it looks weird but just a little bit guys you know I just feel like really it works very well I went back with the cacao color gorgeous color and I'm just going to make this a little bit more defined oh my god this color guys obsessed I don't know if you see it the same way as I see it here in real but this is gorgeous Eyeliner. I think before I apply mascara, I'm going to put a little bit of contour on so I'm not so pale. I think the tone 2 from Dior is still a little bit light for me. I think I will do 2.5 next time. I have this super old Dior brush number 02 but I don't know it's so old guys I don't know if it still exists I have a little bit like of pigmentation here from the hat <laughs> which stops the sunshine right there Guys, usually I like to apply this product on the locations where I tan, which will be my nose, the upper cheeks, a little bit of chin, the temples, there we go, there we go. I'm obsessed with this product lately. I'm absolutely obsessed. So, blush. I like this blush, but I think it's a little too cool tone for this eyeshadow. So, Shushet it is, my dear friends. I just feel this tone I blush works very well this kind with this kind of eye makeup. They complement each other. Also don't forget to put a little bit of brush on blush on your nose. There we go. See very natural. You can always add a little bit more later, but what I like to do after now, I'm going to take my Gucci one and I'm just going to put a little bit of the Gucci powder one over it, just to make it last a little bit longer. The Gucci is to do rosy beige. It's more on a cool tone, pink. A little bit of powder, my dear friends. Why not? 
you know, this is my um, HD Perfecting Powder. And I think this one comes in only in one tone, which is this super bright one. Just to mattify the T-zone a little bit. I like to put a little bit to my eyebrows as well because they get a little shiny under the eyes. Just the eyebrows too. Now the mascara, Elite mascara with my um, Fizzerman super old eyelash curler. Guys, always be super careful <laughs> with your eyelash curler. You don't want to do any drama stuff there. I love this mascara. So, so much fun. Do you see these lashes? Lipstick. What should I do? So, we have here 772 from Dior, which is like this only red I like to use actually. Then I have 100 from Dior, super old, super nude. I could mix them up. Or I could do Kilian, the usual, which I think will be cute. Or I could do my Chantecar, which could be cute. But I want Dior because this is Dior video. So I'm just going to use my favorite lip liner. This is Huda Beauty Pink Brown. And now I'm going to apply that brown. Brown, nude. This kind of works, but I want, I want my lips to be a little bit more popped, so just a little bit of a red. That works. Guys, I think this palette is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. So my favorite tones <laughs> can open it. So my favorite tones which I use are these two. Super beautiful. It looks very beige but it's it has very warm tone to it and this is like dark chocolate, dark cacao without like milk. I don't know how to say it but it turns differently on the skin. It's just so pretty. So let's start with this one here. This is so easy with long nails, isn't it? <laughs> there. Then the one next to it, the super light one. Then the, <laughs> the middle one, um, I'm going to remove this one <laughs> to my hand because I am short of finger. <laughs> the middle tone, my dear friends, is here, as you can see, it's shimmery rose. I'm hungry, I'm sorry about that. Then my favorite, favorite, favorite tone is this one here, the one here. I think that is so pretty. A bit more. It's funny it doesn't show as dark on the skin as it work on the eye. And now the super dark one. I am going to move the lights.
So I turn off a little bit of my light as well, so you can see it a little bit more on me, guys. Sometimes with this strong light, it's difficult to show the way the cars really look. So I love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. It's perfect for evening makeup. Not sure for daytime. If you like a little bit heavier makeup, maybe. PM, fantastic. These are the tones. One more time. Anyway, guys. This is the fancy palette. I'm loving it. I think I would definitely get one more just to have it, you know, with me for a while <laughs> because I do enjoy the two tones very much. I think this is perfect for fall and winter. I even like it for spring and summer, but a little bit lighter than I did because I just wanted to really play with the colors because it's the first time ever. So anyway, guys, this is it i'm going to make a coffee because believe or not didn't have any yet i'm nice no even i didn't have coffee <laughs> anyway time to go because i also will be creating some <laughs> late breakfast lunch <laughs> usual because we eat breakfast for lunch guys anyway i hope you enjoyed this little discovery of this beautiful palette this video was a little too long, but it's okay, guys. I will cut it. <laughs> anyway, I see you next week. Bye-bye.